Hello everyone, this is Ola from the Cycles Automation YouTube channel. If you are new here, you can subscribe my channel to get the latest videos are related to the Cypress. So agenda of this tutorial is how to create a session in the Cypress or the importance of the sessions in the Cypress. How can cache the cookies in local storage? How to set the assertions for the cookies? How to validate the cookies? How to apply session method to the whole project? So what is the importance of the sessions? Cypress actually tries to clear browser data in between tests which leads to the need of logging in before every test and uh, we can either do this by using before each hook or by using cookies API to ignore deleting certain cookies for our app. So actually what is technical point from here is that if you are having a two or multiple test cases there for example this is my test case one and this is test case two uh, you have to log in uh, for both test cases one by one first of all it will uh, log in for first test case and it will automatically log out from here and then it will perform the activities uh, for the test case too but it will also needs to log in again for that test case so what we will do actually here uh, in the before each method we are doing uh, for the both test cases but we also needs to create a session single session for all the multiple test cases there so we will not need to logging in again and again for every test case so it will save our time here so what we can do here so for example this is my uh, simple login flow for any application it can be possible you have to uh, visit any link from here just click on any name uh, any tab there then you will see this screen and you will get to these uh, these two fields there and uh, then you just needs to click a login button for example just needs to go and let me execute that okay so let me show you what actually happening there this is my first test case and you will see that it will okay so what is actually happened there in the first test case you can see that it's logged in there and also logged in and click ok button and for the test case 2 it is logged in again for the test case 2 to perform the activities for the second test case and from the first test case it is automatically logged out after that test case so what we actually are trying to do here we just need to create a session for that purpose so by applying the CRR session API we can cache the cookies local storage and session storage state of our browser for the this login flow like uh, this one uh, okay so just need to create a CRR session method here session and uh, just name it as a login so a uh, comma here and uh, from here it will uh, start like this one so this is our session here so just needs to uh, cut it from here and paste inside this method which is a CVR session method there is uh, one small problem with this type of login as soon as so uh, Cypress completes the CVR type function it caches our browser state however our front end might still be working on the login flow and some of the authentication data we need uh, has not been set there let's say our application login will uh, send an http request to the server to authenticate the user and then redirect to a home page before saving the uh, cookies into the browser given uh, the example above our session will not get properly cached because we did not explicitly 
tells you error session authentication flow is still in progress the easiest way uh, we can fix that is to add a uh, assertion to our session there so we just need to add a assertion here uh, we can add a version like this one cy dot location okay so we can set any path theme there path theme path name <coughs> uh, dot should should uh, equal to you can okay so equal okay so equal this one okay so this one so the path name should be equal to this one so you can also see now here uh, it's uh, clearing all the session before running the first test case and just created the session there and uh, for the second one it also created a session there and also tried to use the uh, cookies from the first session from here and it does not clear all the session before second test case you can see it right clear the cookies local storage and the session storage okay so we can create a new session there and it's already expected to that path here and also clear the page and if there is a third test case it will uh, get the uh, cookies from the local storage again <clears throat> so uh, this is our simple assertion here so this way we will ensure that the cypress will cache our browser at the right moment uh, depending on our application this might be right after we navigate to a new page or some time later uh, the exact point will be determined by the application we are testing Usually, uh, when making a login action, a server response with our authorization in the form of a token that gets saved as cookies or some other browser storage. Instead of checking for the location, we can check the storage item. Uh, the session might then look something uh, like this one. Uh, instead of uh, doing this, we can just uh, uh, get that cookies which we have saved in our local storage just okay so how we can do that see where dot get cookie okay so cookie may be any uh, token there let me show you what is the cookie there actually for example this is my website which i am using just needs to okay so here is the application so here it is the application the, this is one is the user there but it is before the uh, just needs to log in first of all this is um, so let me show you what is actually cookie so it is logged in there and uh, you can see under the application that is my two cookies and the token p is my cookie here so i can also validate that cookie here get the cookie dot should exist dot should exist so so let's see what is happening there so it's creating the session there so it's saying that that what should exist token p is failing there actually cookie is not uh, expected null to exist okay so it's saying that it's a null there before the
okay so we can do it uh, through the validation so just uh, comment out it, it and <coughs> we can do it through the document or we can do it through the validate method okay so just start the validate method here validate okay so start with the validate method here you can assert it like a sigma dot document here document and uh, dot it's mm, cookie dot it's cookie <coughs> dot should contain dot should contain contain <coughs> token token p dash okay so now we will validate it through this thing okay so let's create it query okay let me okay so it's using the in the session you can see well there is pass here and session is recreating here so how it is passing okay so it is restored there validate the session yeah that is included the token feed uh, underscore uh, for there you can see that cookie is here and this is its value and uh, this is also the cookie there but i am using right now the token p and it's also there so it's validated so how we can also assert it through the request for example sometimes your token is expired there and if you have a lot of test cases there and you are executing there are a hundred of test cases there and after a few minutes uh, your token is expired there so <clears throat> your test cases will start to fail again actually there you have in already logged out of uh, your session and session has been expired there so how can you check that thing and it will be logged in automatically again if it is expired there so how can you do that so you can simply do that uh, by using then method here <coughs> then okay so then method you can simply do it like a, a url for example url okay so let me get an url which is okay so for example i am getting the this api is endpoint from here basically this is the api is endpoint here and this is the get call and uh, just copy and paste it here and uh, comma here uh, header headers just and uh, needs to check the token here so I it's saying that uh, it's an error here it's uh, headers okay head uh, 
have the token so so it's uh, Zero request. Okay, okay, okay. So got it, got it. Let me. Uh, it should be in the C dot request here. The request here, and uh, it should be <coughs> in the request method here, and it should start it from here, and uh, just okay. Just uh, remove it from here, and it should be in the C dot request method. Actually, uh, we are verifying it by the request here, and uh, this is my request here. So you can uh, check it on any uh, endpoint which you have, uh, which is available for there. So it just needs to. Okay, so it's saying that sessions in the Cypress. Okay, so it is not uh, okay. So let's create the session again and just need to execute it from the start. Okay, okay, so just sessions creating the session there the first test case okay mm. here token p and its cookie and now you can see that session has been created the session one is created there cleared all the data there clear sessions nothing is cleared there logged in restored here first in the first test case it is been created and in the second test case it is restored there so validate the session session is uh, validated there and also got the favicam uh, ico which is the this one okay so this is the so the last thing in uh, how to apply the cr session for the whole project so how we can do that we can do that by using it in our uh, e2e.js file uh, under the support you can just copy that before each method from here just uh, control x so you can see that it's clear here and just go uh, under the support folder which is uh, e2e.js file here you will see look like this one and uh, just paste it here so it is under uh, support uh, directory uh, in the e2e.js file so now what will happen so no need to create it uh, or write it in uh, all that test file which you are, have, are creating there so also no needs to uh, write it before each method here uh, in each uh, test plan or each test case uh, case before the test cases so now you have created them and uh, i hope you have got all the points uh, there if there is any query then you can just uh, ping me in the comment section and i am always available for any help and Thank you for watching in, uh, my YouTube video here.